participants of the seminar Local Democracy in a Changing World came from conflict zones. The project promoted young people's active citizenship in general. It contributed to the development of support systems and new tools for youth activities and capabilities of civil society organizations in the youth field. Two years ago, uh, 30 people from over 15 countries met in Vienna to meet for one week to talk about social media and the impact it has in their local communities. It was also a very specific mix of regions. Um, there was the Arabic world was represented, Asian world and Europe and North Africa. The entire seminar based on non-formal educational concepts, meaning we had workshops, interactive group sessions, group work, teamwork, uh, also presentations. What did you do in the workshops? Um, what kind of workshops did you attend during the week? Uh, we actually just could exchange uh, some knowledge about the uh, search engine optimization, the platforms, some several platforms. We have the, the idea uh, about uh, some of it about the crowdfunding, some of it about the uh, social media tools, and uh, we've been actually just with some other experts who explained to us about uh, the Facebook and the Facebook usage. Why did you participate in this project? So the idea was that to try to learn uh, from others in other countries and try to give some of our um, input, some of our uh, experiences in how young people participate and how young people can express uh, and have, uh, their, their idea and their participation in the democratic process uh, at local level. We did a flash mob here, which was about freedom of expression. It started in silent mode, people sitting on the ground, um, being silent, sort of acting imprisonment. And then we had uh, origami flowers, and we handed these origami flowers to public saying if you give this flower to one of those sitting in silent this person will be able to talk and be free and then we were in a big huge circle and had a dance together with act 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 and change I believe the one of the most important outcome of this project is in fact the possibility for people who are mostly alone in the crowd to find partner for improving their learning experience Of course we have objectives like empowerment and uh, increasing skills and competences but I think what, what stays in the end is, is uh, a friendship, uh, is a network that's built on trust uh, which can now take on challenges of today's society. Mm -hmm.